I love to cook healthy meals, but when it comes to dessert, I take things very seriously and I don't take shortcuts. And my favorite resource for indulgent desserts is Nigella Lawson. I love her cookbooks, and one of my favorite recipes of hers is molten chocolate baby cakes. I'm going to be making them tonight when we go for a potluck dinner, and I'll be bringing them for dessert to David and Mary Michaels. They're so easy to make, and they're extremely easy to prepare ahead of time. So to begin with, and this is probably the hardest step in making these molten's, is actually just preparing the ramekins. All you need to do is butter them. I'll usually just either take, if I ha have leftover sheet that butter's wrapped in, I'll use that, or I'll just take a stick and just butter the inside around all the sides. Then what you need to do, and this is actually the only real difficult part, and that's just cutting a piece of parchment that will fit into the bottom of the ramekin. The easy way to make the parchment is to take a square piece, fold it in half, fold it in half again, and again, and again, and then roughly measure how deep it is, and then cut it. And that will give you the right size ramekin to fit into your mold. So the next step in making these uh, molten chocolate cakes is melting the actual chocolate. What I have here is a, is a pot of boiling water, and the steam from this water is going to help melt the chocolate. Using indirect heat like this will prevent the chocolate from burning or separating the way it would if you just put it straight in, over the heat in a pot. Now, to make for easier cleanup, I actually break the chocolate into shards before putting it in the bowl, and I keep it in the wrapper like this, and you can either lay it on your counter, break it by hand, and then I will add these beautiful shards of chocolate into this bowl. I'm using 12 ounces of bittersweet chocolate here. And this, I'm just going to stir until it's completely melted. And then I'm going to take it off the heat and allow it to cool while I prepare the rest of the batter. So while our chocolate is, is cooling off, I'm going to cream some butter and sugar in a bowl and get started on making the base for our batter. So this recipe calls for a half stick of butter, and I'm using unsalted butter. It's a good idea to always use unsalted butter when cooking and baking so that you can control the amount of salt. So there's half a stick, and we're also going to add a half cup of sugar. I'm using granulated sugar here. Now to cream these together, I'm just going to use my wooden spoon and mix them until they're evenly combined. So at this point, as you can see, it's evenly combined. I'm going to start adding the eggs one by one and mix them in gradually. Oops, actually, it's a shell. <laughs> and actually, the best way to scoop out eggshells is actually using the shell of the egg. Otherwise, we'll be fishing it out forever. All right, we only have a few more ingredients to add to our batter. First is just a pinch of salt, some vanilla extract, one teaspoon, and then one third a cup all-purpose flour. All right. So now I'm going to add the melted chocolate that's had a chance to cool a little bit. It's still a little bit warm. And this, if you can do a close-up, is what they call a money shot in the food world. This chocolate smells fantastic. And it really helps if you have a spatula to get every last bit of velvety chocolate. Now I'm just continuing to mix all of this together. Now we're ready to put this batter into the individual ramekins. And I've got our beautiful aromatic chocolate batter. And I am going to fill each individual ramekin with this batter.
These chocolate moltens are going to cook in a 400 degree oven for exactly 14 minutes if they've been refrigerated or if you're making them right now between 10 to 12 minutes. So here's my trick for getting the moltens out of their ramekins. I simply place it on one plate using a knife Gently go around the entire cake. Now with the serving plate, simply put it directly on top, do a little flip, and then this is just because the ramekin is extremely hot, so this will help you get it out. Now, to show you exactly how beautiful and molten the inside is. Smells amazing. Mm. You're gonna love it. To make these chocolate molten cakes, you will need a half stick of unsalted butter, 12 ounces of bittersweet chocolate, a half cup granulated sugar, four large eggs, a pinch of sea salt, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a third cup all purpose flour, and six individual ramekins lined with parchment paper.